and uh, recognize for everybody that the people in the uh, white sweaters is the Caledon Council hockey team. <laughs> and uh, then we also have uh, two outsiders that are wearing a different color sweater. They play for different teams. <laughs> I'd like to uh, welcome, first of all, uh, Mayor Morrison is going to make uh, some comments, and uh, we're also going to have uh, our federal member, Honorable David Tilson, to come up, and also our provincial member is here as well, Sylvia Jones. Mayor? Thank you. How exciting. It really is exciting. Um, we are here today to open a building in which Caledon's youth will learn about hard work and teamwork. Both are the foundation on which this project was built. From the time of the funding announcement last September until today, all parties work together as a team to make this project a success. I have to tell you that when David called and said, you've got seven million. I, said, I was very excited and said, whoo, you know, this is terrific, here's the rink, this is, we're going to have a rink, another rink. And, and I have to tell everybody that that rink was the very first rink that the town of Caledon, as a town, since it was in, uh, became a town in 1974, it's the first rink built in this municipality since it became the town of Caledon. So now we have two within what, six years? This is so exciting. I, I really can't tell you how exciting it is. But when David phoned and said we have seven million dollars, I, I mean, I was really excited. And uh, I said, terrific. And so we had our announcement. Uh, we were out here, um, big announcement, uh, the papers and everybody was there. And I remember we announced that and it had to be built by March 2011. And a few weeks later, we found out, mm -mm, it's March 2010. <laughs> and we said, oh my gosh, how are we ever going to do this? So, you know, staff got together, uh, talked about, let's get it moving, let's get going quickly. And we never looked back. And I have to say to all the trades who are here, and I have a few remarks about the trades and, and McDonald Brothers and everyone, you are absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. Ever want a reference? Call me. You are terrific. And I remember driving to the town every day, come fall, and then uh, and every day I come, it was it was further and further along and closing in. And I thought, I don't believe this. And then near, I don't know, I guess it was maybe the second week of December, so there wasn't a whole lot left to close in, and the gall darn snow started to fly. And I remember coming by one evening because I'm running around day, evening, all that stuff, and I'm driving back, and here it is snowing like a banshee. The lights are on inside. This end isn't even closed in, and they're still in there working. And I thought, oh, I feel sorry for them. It's freezing, but I'm glad they're there because they'll get this thing done. So I just, um, I can't say enough. I, I can tell McDonald Brothers I have raved about you everywhere and to all the other municipalities. I just think you're phenomenal. But many of the people have worked seven days a week to get us where we're at. I always go off my notes, you know. I, like, don't stick to them, I should say. Um, today we opened Caledon's first twin ice facility. We have one NHL ice pad, in this, uh, six dressing rooms, stadium-style seating, energy-efficient effic ice plant, energy-efficient lighting, and talking to McDonald Brothers uh, at lunch, there is a way, and I think we should be looking at it, on um, capturing all the water, all the rainwater from these facilities and using it for irrigation on our soccer fields. And it can be done. It's already going into pipes. And I think that that's probably the next thing we need to do because we are the greenest town in Ontario and we need to continue with that. Our congratulations to uh, the contractor, um, McDonald Brothers, specifically Paul McDonald, and our site superintendent, Mike Dompierre, for their tireless efforts on this project. I have to tell you, the dedication of this company is what made this project happen on time. 
and I cannot thank you enough. I, I wrote a letter to uh, Paul McDonald um, trying to express how much um, we appreciate his company and what they've done for us. And after I signed the letter and we sent it off, I still don't think I got <laughs> I got the real message of what I meant across. You just have no idea because I was told by many that there is no way this facility would be ready in the six and a half months. And I thought, well, we're going to get it done because Paul McDonald promised us we're going to get it done. And they said, oh, no way. There's absolutely no way. Here we are. So I, I just can't say enough about you and your company. Thank you. Anyway, along with the efforts of uh, Park and Architect, um, and thank all the subcontractors I've already mentioned. Um, I'd love to mention all of you by name, but they haven't given me enough time. And you've worked diligently, and I know that they've tried to employ our local contract subcontractors as much as possible. And I thank you very, very much for being here, being able to drop everything and work the hours that you had to work on this project. Thank you, everybody. It, it just is a wonderful facility. We're all very proud of it, and uh, I'm really pleased to have all of my council, almost all of my council here today. I have uh, Ward 1 Councillor, Regional Councillor Paderak, uh, Local Councillor Doug Befford, Ward 2 Regional Councillor Alan Thompson, Local Councillor uh, Gordon McClure, uh, Ward 3-4, and this is 3 right here, is the Regional Councillor Richard Whitehead, and local councillor Nick DeBoer, and from uh, Ward 5 is Annette, uh, regional councillor Annette Groves. So I thank all of you for coming out, um, and I hope you're all going to come to the movies tonight. My husband and I are bringing our lawn chairs, and we'll be sitting there watching the movie. And thank you so much, everybody, and all the trades. And thank you, McDonald Brothers, for the lunch today. It, it was wonderful. It was a wonderful gesture. Thank you. Thanks very much, uh, Mayor Morrison. Uh, would uh, our federal member like to come up here? Our federal member and the guy that brought us the check, David Tilson. Yeah, well... <clears throat> Normally, the minister gives me a speech to read, and I don't have it, so you should be happy about that because you've all heard it three or four times. <laughs> but it's a pleasure to be here, um, and I played this little thing just to show you how much this country loves hockey. I mean, who hasn't seen or heard of the Olympic gold? Uh, whose heart didn't sink when that uh, American guy scored on us with seconds to go, and then, you know, for big hero of a kid... Uh, uh, scores the winning goal, and uh, even me, who is a, a Toronto Maple Leaf fan, is actually now cheering for the Montreal Canadiens. Yeah. And we have, uh, and we have uh, members of Parliament who are wandering around wearing uh, Montreal Canadian shirts. So the issue, of course, is this country is proud of its hockey. Uh, we're proud of our teams. We're proud of our boys and girls. The girls won the the gold, and uh, the men won the gold. And uh, the girls are the best in the, in, the, in the world, and the men are the best in the world. And how do they get there? From places like this. And uh, I'll tell you, uh, you know, uh, the mayor gave me a bit of a credit for bringing a large check here, but she worked hard. She and her members of council worked hard. And so did the community work hard. I had a swamp with telephone calls and, and before all this happened to people asking for a uh, for, uh, for, uh, and of course, it's not going to be just used as a hockey rink. It's going to be used as for a whole, a whole bunch of things. And I think that uh, that in itself is is, is worth something. Well, I, I can't believe you're not going to play uh, uh, lacrosse and all kinds of other things in this in this facility. Figure skating goes on and on. So congratulations to the mayor and member of council. She's thanked uh, she's thanked everybody else, and I won't repeat that. It's it's a it's a. It's teamwork putting this thing together. It's a beautiful facility, and we all should be proud of it. So congratulations to the community. Congratulations to the members of council.
So that's the end of our presentations, but we are going to do a ribbon cutting, and I think we're going to have some photos taken at the same time. So I think uh, if we could get our federal and our provincial member and our Caledon Council hockey team, and we'll do that.